podcast this week on the Union Jack Off. Welcome. Welcome to the Union Jack Off. Hello. Am I into the camera? Oh, fucking Mooch switched it up. Beautiful. Look at that. Straight oh. down the lens. Yeah. This is pro shit. One day I'll get a fast enough internet connection that you guys will appreciate the professionalism of this pod on video. Yeah. Got some issues, guys. Got some slow London internet problems. Really? I know. How I know. Come? Exactly. Look at you. So surprised. You know why they're surprised? Because they come from the superior place of the world, Scandinavia. We have Penilla. Is I say that right? Yeah, I don't want to even have a run at your last name. No, we're at Harland. Harland. Yeah. Penilla Harland. Yeah. Harland. Wait, Harland is that a place? Um, okay. Oh my god. Is that uh, the name of a place? Yeah. I mean, yes. yeah. It sounds like Holland, but it's actually just Harland. But and with then, two A's. Yeah, two A's. But I thought that was like a region in a Scandinavian. I mean, country. Harland. Harland. Yeah. Oh, that is a region that is in Sweden. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, All right. But Nailed it's spelled it. H A L L A N. H, yeah, and H, your two A's. H, yeah, H A A, and then um, two A's uh, make. I mean, two A's um, n- normally go for an A with a dot on the top. Have you oh seen yeah, that uh-huh. kind of letter. I know that one. Yeah, but we're rebels. We're just doing two A's. Two A's. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's like the Germans when they did the two S's instead of like the Schaffer S. They're like, yeah. fuck oh, that yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. We're just gonna <laughs> double down on the S's. <laughs> oh, and they do like an O with an E after for the it's O classic. with umlaut. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, got, I, got, I know mm-hmm. more stuff. You do. Than you'd I'm expect. really impressed. Like, yeah. That's, that's what I bring to the table, a surprising <laughs> amount of knowledge. <laughs> that um, you've acquired on the couch from YouTube. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Those NFL guys, they read. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> they've got an they've got, they've got inquisitive mind. And I'm also joined by Sweden's Evelyn Mock. Hello. Woo! That's me. So we've got me. Norway. Penilla Ar- Harland. Yeah. Hey. Sweden. Evelyn, Evelyn Mock. Mark. Are they different countries? We will figure it out by the end of this podcast. <laughs> I refuse to accept it. The languages sound the same. And as always, joined by producer Mooch. Mooch, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm oh, good, mate. Do you think that Sweden and Norway are the same? Um, no. No? <laughs> have, you, have you been I mean, to both? I've been to neither, but I, I own a map. But um, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I own a map. First thing in producer Mooch's career today. Yeah. yeah. He does uh, every episode, a couple of zings. A couple You'll of zings. You'll see. That's, that's, zings. My zing, that's my zing quota for, for the first half. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 get a, I get a bit insecure. Like, you know, we're just talking about this relationship stuff, obviously, yeah, 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 that my, yeah, yeah. my fiance is stealing all my friends. I don't yeah. want Mooch stealing all my zings. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. very important oh, to that's me. That's true. But yeah, I, I've never been to Norway, but I have been to Sweden twice. Mm. Been to a Swedish wedding. Oh, lovely! When I, was, when I was a young, when I was a young man. How young was that? Twenty-one. Oh my! Oh, very yeah. young. I got a, I got a, I got a like real loose plus one to a wedding. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> real <laughs> loose. Who did you go with? Uh, a seventy-year-old Swedish lady. Oh, seventy-year-old. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I'm mature. All right, I like <laughs> what a mature woman. What were you woman. doing there? What was I doing there? Attending. Okay. Uh, attending mm. a wedding. Um, but I was there. Um, I was going to be there. Why was I going to be there? I don't even know. And she was just like, Come. she's like a family friend. Oh, right. Okay. Through like, that she met my dad like three times maybe <laughs> in Australia. And then she's like, well, I'm actually busy at that time going to this wedding, but I'm sure he could come. <laughs> and I was like, what? This is crazy. Now that I'm like, I'm like planning a wedding, getting that invite. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Loose wedding policy. So was it from loose. Australia to Sweden? Yes. Or? I was doing oh like, I was doing God. like a trip. <laughs> Before I went on exchange, I was going on exchange oh, in Berlin and I was right. just in Sweden. And she's like, Do you want to come to this wedding? And I was like, Fuck yeah, I want to go to a Swedish wedding. Yeah. And it was awesome. It was like Swedish lady, French guy, oh. hot wedding. Oh, lovely I stuff. Reckon, I reckon that's like, that's probably a top two combos. Yeah. yeah. A the lot only, of good food. Uh, I don't remember the food at all. Oh, okay. Fair. I remember yeah. the drinking games, like you get up and sing. Yeah, that's that, a good one. That is that. Have you been to like that's these? Really good. Fitter, back fitter. <laughs> spring that, that's just you just said word. the yeah. Oh, you just right, said okay. vagina. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you just said vagina. It's They're a cunt. Yeah. 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 It's a football yeah. song about. I know. It's but you Swedish said it with the accent as well, and I yeah. appreciate that. Oh, okay. You guys normally say fitta, right? Fitta, fitta, and we say fitta. Yeah, it's really delicate when they say it, and we're just like, oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> wait, so this is like the the Swedish slash Norwegian word for cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, as an Australian, I feel very. I'm glad we started there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, Fuck yeah, dude. Actually, yeah, we're like, what? Why yeah. are you guys upset by that? Uh, actually, this was so embarrassing. I did like this gig at the Ned recently. Um, if you don't know the Ned, it's like members club, very fancy oh. members club. Oh. And uh, I was talking to the guys in the crowd and one of them was like a lawyer who leased planes and boats. And then I was like, only planes and boats? Like no trains? Like fuck trains. I don't know one of those scum train leasing lawyers. There's an Australian guy at the back. It's like, oh, I'm a train lawyer. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake. 
And then anyway, so I was like talking to them about this and I just, I didn't understand their job. I was like, what do you do? Like, yeah. what do you advise on? Because I, and I was just like, look, I just, I just assumed some cunt owned all the trains. Like, I assumed yeah. that's how it works. But now tell me the lease of them. And then the Australian guy at the back is like, yeah, like some cunt owns them. And then he leases them to other cunts. And if he didn't say cunt the second time, I wouldn't have got it. <laughs> then I was like, that's actually the exact explanation I needed. And I was so embarrassed on behalf of my people. I've become a stereotype. Very oh, hurtful. Love of your people. <laughs> love my people. Oh. Uh, but yeah, what was it? So the, like, that's very similar, those two words. I don't want to break mm -hmm. it to you. Very similar. So you guys can no, understand each other. It's true. Okay, I, I can like fill you in on this because I always speak to Swedish people in the hope that, oh, they'll understand Norwegian. But I don't think you do, depending on where you're from. So basically, Norway, we were a football between Denmark and, and Sweden. Uh, Denmark was ruling everyone. And then like, uh -huh. um, and then... Sweden, you were like, oh, I want to be independent. Fuck you, Denmark. And then we just had no say. <laughs> I thought Sweden was the ruler. Yeah, yeah, okay, f okay, fine. Something like that. They were, they were like... Uh, Classic Scandinavian. Yeah. <laughs> Scandinavian. I thought Fancy. Sweden invented Skype. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Estonia. Yeah, um, but basically yeah. The, way we, um, the way we write is exactly like Danish. And then the uh -huh. way we speak is more similar to Swedish. But neither of the countries understand us. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that is it. <laughs> the da I think the Danes and Norwegians, yeah, you maybe. guys understand each other. Depending a bit on where easier. you are, because there's, it's yeah. just like the accents are very are different. Bit it, but if it's weird. written down, yeah, Swedish, no, sorry, uh, Norwegian and Danish are the same. Like, yeah, yeah. If you were doing like a spelling bee, because I know that's the case with Dutch, yeah. and Flemish, like oh. it's spelled exactly the same. Yeah. Like, is that the same Norwegian? I, and I would Danish? say so. So, just um, I mean, why do we have? We have two ways of writing in Norway. We've got New Norwegian, which was the time when we really wanted to be independent and special. So we went. Mm. You know, when you're like, we just there was a guy who went all around Norway and collected phrases to be like, this is the true language. And, oh. then the, and then the old Norwegian, which doesn't even make any sense, but the old Norwegian is exactly similar to da Danish. That's right. how it kind of works. Mm. So like, is it funny? This is just factual. No, this, this is what it's all about. <laughs> We're trying to learn. Save people a trip. Um, mm. So you, wait. you don't have that, do you? You don't have that. No, 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 I don't think so. I mean, th it's developed and stuff yeah. of how you, like words and grammar. Yeah. But I think um, alphabet stayed the same. Yeah. And uh, basically because Norwegians, you tend to understand Swedish much yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and I'm clueless. You, no, exactly. And you, uh, like we, like if I ever meet someone who's yeah. Swedish, I like. You swedish -fy Yeah, yourself, I, I have you? to kind of change it up so yeah. that I will be understood because I'm, yeah. right. I'm always kind of very happy. Yeah, I feel feet. like. The Swedes are like the Americans of, yeah. of Scandinavia. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would because agree with that. Our TV is like we our TV is in Norway. What? Television is in Norway. Oh, cool. Like sweet there's a lot of Swedish programming in Norway, that's why they understand us better. And I uh, think in, in Denmark as well. Yeah, 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 would they yeah. would they have subtitles? Um, on they that? would I think you would, would you have need subtitles? subtitles. But it's weird. But I, like if, if you if there's a Swedish program, yeah. the subtitles are in Swedish. Which are is, they? Yeah, yeah. That's kind oh. of um, a bit weird. That is very American. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, very yeah. American. Exactly. It's like in English. Yeah, and yeah, in yeah, English. yeah, yeah. Fucking learn it or don't yeah. understand it. And then it's so it's so funny because I feel like I feel like Sweden are the cool kids on the block, and like uh, Denmark are like <laughs> the finance. They're so tied. Their ties to EU and whatnot. And then like right. I still feel Norway is like the country bumpkin lot. We we are like it's super rural. And yeah, you've got. Um, You're so rich though. You yeah. No, no, that's what I was going to say when we became independent. Um, because before then, before we had oil, we were just like, you couldn't grow anything. It was just mm. like a shit country. Right. And then like a few years when we became independent, we found oil and Sweden and Denmark were like, fuck. Did you guys <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's what happened. Right. So rich. <laughs> all right. So, how, so rich. How recently was all this history? When was the independence? Um, independ oh God, I think we've been independent for like, what, something like 200 years or something like that. Okay. Um, so it's not recent. Take it. No, 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 no. But we, the, the oil sh stuff happened like, in the turn of the century, but like really kicked off in the 70s, 80s. Right. Okay, yeah. so you guys kind of like new money. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then they there's are, like all yeah. these Swedes are just kind of like, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. And now Swedish people, <laughs> Swedish youths yeah. go and work youths. in like the pizzerias and stuff in yeah. Norway to make money because so wait so like no Norwegian has like the immigrant workforce yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. Sweden yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. is rich that yeah, is yeah, a yeah. rich country because yeah. you can oh earn so God. much you're over yeah. a summer you're like yeah. you can really you earn so much I, I've money. done that as well like yeah. gone home when I've been broke and just work you just work cleaning fish in a fish factory mm. or something and you earn so much money 
Like my right. friend, my cousin, she uh, she worked for she went and worked for IKEA. She earned like so much money in Norway, <laughs> and then she came back and she was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's it's insane, yeah. Yeah. But, so but you but go and earn money in Norway. But everything's incredibly expensive as well, right? So it's yeah. kind of like your one of those tax, just like, squirrel it away and totally. you know, bring it somewhere else. Oh fuck! Yeah. Your tax so much, like everything. Oh it's, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And e- ev- yeah, it, but but the thing is, it, I don't know if it's good, but we're instilled with this like it's good to pay tax, so be happy yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of. Uh, but but yeah, it's so expensive, and yeah, you <laughs> you have to like debate buying cheese or paying rent. Like that's like a genuine kind of like wow. concern. I mean, that's a that's a pretty London concern. Yeah, as that's well. true. That's <laughs> true. Actually, <laughs> yeah. cheese ain't cheese. Yeah. Um, but that's so interesting. So like, it was like the so seventies because like. In my head, this is like, you got to remember, Australia's far away from everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're far away from everything. And you guys are really far away. Because mm-hmm. like, like the up bit, you know what I mean? And like, you guys seem like you've just been crushing it forever. <laughs> but like, I was like, you know, born, you know, like 89. So I guess since I was alive, you have. <laughs> like that was kind of like the taking off point. You guys mm. are like, yeah, we're fucking oil. Yes, mate. Like, yeah, so much money. And then now you're just writing that out. But you're being smart about it because of the tax. Yeah. Like Australia has all these natural resources, but we just yeah. kind of give them away to China because we're like, sick, free money, quick <laughs> money. China and India, we're like, sweet, uranium. Yeah, we got it. Um, <laughs> that's, the, that's what I've always been so fascinated about. about uh, I think I was quite naive when I started coming, uh, traveling out to like, or living in London really, because mm. like yeah. Sweden and Norway and Denmark, the system is so great. Like it takes care of you as a citizen. Yeah. Mm. So it's like, it makes sure that, like all that tax money, sure it's high tax, but it actually goes back to you in like, in form of healthcare. Yeah, and you see it. School. Yeah. It's it's free university. Free university. Free healthcare. You even get a stipend to go to university. You get a stipend. In Sweden, you got, like from the day you're born till till you're 18, your parents get um, a like child stipend, so they get about like a hundred pounds per month. You've got a kid; they're expensive. Exactly. Go buy some shit. Exactly. Here's enough wow. money for like diapers and stuff. And then when you start going to uni, you get like two hundred and fifty pounds a month to go to uni. Just for, for like, five years. Mm. Do you, do you like for rent, or do you guys like tend to go to uni to in your hometown? Because Australia is very much uni in the hometown. You don't yeah, live. Yeah. A lot of on that. campus. Is that the yeah. same? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It depends what you want to study, yeah. but they, but it's it's. Like, yeah, the, the unis are, are pretty good. But I, I think in Norway, you have to travel quite a lot um, up north if you're, oh. like, into... To Oslo and y- stuff? Yeah, Oslo and, and T- Trondheim, which oh. is, like, further, further up north. Um, right, so is Oslo yeah. considered north in, like, no, Norway? Uh, no, it's, it's in the middle. In the middle? It's kind of west. Uh, west Cause yeah. like, and then, because, like, the one thing that you guys have, and I just want to I want to get into this early because as mm. an Australian, it makes me feel very comfortable. you got, like, that Lapland <laughs> bit, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where, like, that's where all your... <laughs> That's right. Indigenous <laughs> people are. I mean, are, they, yeah. are, are, are yeah. there indigenous people up there? Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. I thought it was like yeah. where the rednecks were. I that was like that vibe. Yeah. Just like moose and guns and shit. Yeah. Like, well, there are as well, but then, uh, yeah, the Swedish people are the moose and gun okay. people. Okay. Yeah. And they're quite quiet. They're not like um, they're not like American rednecks. They're actually just very stoic and quiet. Okay. Um, we, we have a bad. I think I think all of the Scandinavian countries have a. They're called Samoa, and they have a yeah. bad. They have yeah, a bad yeah, yeah. Uh, relationship because they it literally came and took over the Indian. Yeah. In, um, can't ever say that name. Indigenous. Indigenous. Yeah. Indigenous. 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 Don't worry, yeah. dude. As an Australian, yeah. very practiced uh, in saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, um, um, yeah. Believe it or not, has similar history. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but but they're cool. They celebrate the sun gods and they bang a drum and they chase <laughs> reindeer. I mean, they're really. I mean, they're pretty cool. That feels like such a like a, like a, a Norwegian or Swedish way of explaining. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> you know, like they they bang some drums. You know, they have sun gods. They they look up in the sky, no, pray for they're rain. Yeah. yeah, they're, they're <laughs> cool, man. They're, they're these chill dudes. They're so they're like, like, no. I think they're much more cooler than us. Because I, I, like, mm. I'm from the south, and that's like a Bible belt. And I grew up, oh. I'm from a oh. tiny village. Uh, give it up for Gröthem. Who's ever from <laughs> Gröthem? <laughs> this is like Just my imagine village. imagine a rapper saying, yeah. give it up for Gröthem. Uh, oh, yeah. But that's such a like tiny little bigoted place. I, I didn't like it much. Um, Wait, so Bible belt. Because yeah, I thought this yeah, is, yeah this very is Christian. Because like, they're advanced. 
Giants Stripe merch. I was like, I, rec- I in my head, they don't even have God. They're beyond that, you know? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Like, they're kind of like, we don't, we, don't, we don't have gods. We just got like design. Well, we've we got separated. minimal we've got oil, so we don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. separated church from, yeah. from, from, Se- from state. Because like, you're very secular. not religious. Yeah, secular. That's mm-hmm. the one. I was, I was confused, secular and non-secular. But um, it's, it's still like a lot of kids still do their confirmation just so they can get money gifts. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, money, a moped. A moped? Yeah. Is that what you get? People love mopeds. <laughs> At least from where I was from. It was like, what, it was like back then. You get kids on a moped? Yeah, you would. when you turn 15, you would be able to get a moped if you wanted. Because right. of the, like you can drive a moped with the... Yeah. From fifteen yeah, without a license true, or true. something. We 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 got tractors, but yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking yeah, dude, tractor over to your place. Yeah. Just hang. It's so weird to think of your Rolling country on 43s. as forty threes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just mag wheels on the track. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the biggest spinners <laughs> I've <laughs> ever seen. Just fucking wow, like a fan. Um, wait, so you're. It, this is gonna sound dumb. Mm. <laughs> But <laughs> it's it. weird to me that there's rural Norway. I don't know why. I don't. Yeah. I get you. I get you. On this. Yeah. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I completely that? understand. Like, it's like, rural, isn't like it the, all I, rural? Like the idea of like a rural like farmer in like Norway. Yeah. Because like genuinely, even though I've been to Sweden, even though I've seen it in like Norway, like I assume it's roughly the same. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like cities look like cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I do, just kind of imagine like a giant IKEA showroom <laughs> when I think of those countries. Like it's it's all very close. Instead of motorways, it's just arrows. Yeah, just <laughs> like this is where you go, and like you know everything's fine. And um, but yeah, it's just weird to think of like what do you grow? Like you said, there's like nothing yeah. to grow. All right, go then. Big on parsley. All right. Parsley. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're like a herb uh, hit capital. me up. Yeah, totally. Parsley. parsley. Yeah, but um, oh, I think I think it's it's weird. I can only describe Norway. Like five million people, five million, six million people live there. It's um, it's a place where you live really close to nature. And there's this saying in the in my country. Yeah, and I think it's Sweden as well. Like, there's no such thing as bad clothing. <laughs> you just have to wear the appropriate yeah. clothing yeah, 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 to yeah. match that weather. And oh, there's no right. such thing as bad yeah. weather. Yeah. That oh, that's only that's bad clothing. clothing. Oh, fuck, I fucked that's up. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No such thing as yeah. bad that's, weather. That's, yes. that, that's that bad great uh, Steve Hughes joke. Shout yeah. out to one of Australia's great comedians, <laughs> Steve Hughes. Yeah, the thing about my <laughs> Swedish friends, like, like the weather's not bad, just wearing the wrong clothes. It's yeah. like, yeah. but I'm wearing all my fucking clothes. Like, <laughs> How can I be wearing the wrong clothes? Yeah. No. Okay. So that. So you guys are like outdoorsy because I'm like. Yeah. That was like because I've been to Finland a few times. I have some friends over there, and I was really surprised that like the lake thing. Do you guys have the lakes as well? Yeah. You have lake more culture? lakes than I feel, uh, we I do. I feel like you have loads, but, you, but your waters are, re- are big. Like your waters are quite. Really? Uh, yeah. I, f- I feel we've got you guys loads have the of fjords la- and yeah, stuff. lakes. Yeah. Fair enough. But like the, yeah. I mean, just because mm. we're by the coast, so potentially, uh, yeah. But you're also a bit We're also coasty. coasty. Yeah. I, I, just, I just like, like the idea of you guys being bashful about lakes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you've got the most <laughs> lakes. Yeah. Come on, don't be silly. I, I, yeah. You've got lakes. Look at them. Inland know. lakes, like, we have two big ones in the middle of the country. Yeah. And then a few other ones, but... I feel like Norway is just full of lakes. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I think that is because the whole country is has got a coast. But I did have have friends who would be like, "Oh yeah, my school. I have to take a boat to get to my school." <laughs> and that's like like uh, the bus, the bus, but there's like a a boat. Yeah, the school so boat. Yeah, oh the school God. boat. Yeah. So that's kind of normal. That's kind of normal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, it's not. It's definitely not kind of normal. Yeah. Wow. I just. The rural thing is fucking with me. I'm not. I'm not is dealing well with it. Really? Yeah. Why? Just but, cause but is Sweden as rural? I feel like you're more Volvo, IKEA. Like you're all about the, it's the quite, inventions. Yeah, yeah. It's industrial, but it's like uh, it, I guess it's maybe not. The South is uh, has a lot of farming going yeah, on. Yeah. Um, but rural, like even if it's rural in Sweden, it's still quite advanced like mm. there's a there's a minimum kind of standard to living in Sweden right. that so even if you live in like a council kind of estate it's still mm. up to a certain part like certain standard right so even the government housing is quite yeah it's it's because it, it's so regulated 
Uh-huh. So I think that's the issue here. Nothing is regulated yeah, here, so you get away with so much. Yeah, but there are no slum landlords in Sweden. No slum like, landlords. No is, slum is, landlords. Isn't like all these like schemes as well to like help you buy a house, like and all that kind of stuff. Like the government really wants to give you. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. No, I was going to say something that I I'd forgotten, and my friend reminded me. So say that you're paying down your student loan in Norway. There mm-hmm. are places that are so rural. Yeah. That the the state offers to pay down your student loan if you go and work there in that village. And that oh, to yeah. me is like, have, do you have that? That I'd forgotten. I, I, like I don't something think we similar, have that. Really, yeah. So it's like if you're a doctor and you want to be a junior <coughs> in this village of, what, 200, they'll yeah. pay down your, <laughs> your shit if you want to work there, basically. I, I think that's in Australia a little yeah. bit as well. Yeah. Like to get people to the country yeah, just because yeah. like, or like oh, maybe you get paid like just way more. Mm. Like just like way more money. Oh, really? Like they're just kind of <laughs> like they're just kind of look. We know it's not great, but we will fucking reward <laughs> you. Like we will just give you heaps of money. Yeah, just come here. Uh, it's I don't think they they do it in Sweden, but you can be forgiven your student loan after like X amount of years. You can be forgiven oh, yeah. your student yeah, loan. That's true. So I, like that, yeah. If you move, I think there were people who did this. They they had student loans and then they moved abroad and then started living and working abroad and then after X amount of years. It's just you, gone. It's just gone, yeah. I love forgiven. Can you imagine trying to explain yeah. to an American yeah. <laughs> that eventually the government will forgive you <laughs> for not paying them back? It's just like, don't worry yeah. about it, man. Like you've been you've been away for ages. We have to fact check this, but I'm pretty sure that yeah. something like that. I'm gullible, I'll believe you. Yeah. yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> okay. So Penelope, you grew up quite rural. Evelyn, were you rural or were you city? I was city, but I was um like inner city, but in Sweden inner city is out it's in the suburbs so like it's because of migration and stuff it happened so late to sweden yeah um in the 70s they started to accommodate the and the 90s they started to accommodate like migration and asylum seekers yeah. and they needed like Wait, in the 90s i think in the 90s were a lot of what, what asylum are, seekers what about before that was just not Sweden for Sweden Swedish. Sweden was very... Um, I mean, it's still pretty white. Like, I don't want to yeah, break it to yeah. it. But, like, yeah, I've been there. And, boy, it reminds me of home. Uh, it's white. Actually, yeah. it's whiter than Australia. It's definitely whiter than Australia. It's super white, yeah. yeah. And it's like... So, to accommodate the influx of, like, immigration, they started something called the Million Program, which is, like, a million housing units uh, within a certain amount of time to accommodate everybody. Right. And so the where there was space was outside of towns. So they built this outside of towns and all the new immigrants came and lived yeah. there. But then that just led to segregation. Yeah. Um, so that's been one I grew of up the there. Issues, <laughs> yeah, but that's one of the issues in Sweden is that there, there, there haven't been schemes in terms of in- integrating yeah. asylum seekers or, or yeah, migration. And there hasn't been a, enough of an effort mm-hmm. to kind of include them into society. And that's why you get an election with a right wing mm-hmm. lunatic. Um, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, that was the politics. And right. also in vote. my area, my area is apparently the biggest recruitment uh, area for ISIS oh, in Europe. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? You guys beat up Brussels? That's cool. That's a joy. Really, Sweden. I never. I would never think terrorism Sweden. Like, uh, yeah. Never. Just like Norway, rural terrorism Sweden. Nah, that doesn't go there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I think it's one of the headquarters we, uh, as well. <laughs> oh my God, Evan, that's insane. Hey, we, uh, we have attempted, you know, give it, a, give it a whirl. Yeah, give it a whirl. Uh, I got out of there before ISIS was a thing, I think. Oh, man. Um, but it's uh, it's interesting it's like because it's like you say like there's no in sweden it's either assimilation there's no integration like and and sweden has so much structural racism that they but they don't really they've not looked themselves in the eye about it they it's kind of not talked about i would agree in terms of noise well i think it's like there's a there's a definitely fear of otherness i think because Mm. it, it, it yeah it happened what 30 years ago in terms of like more people into kind of uh, communities mixing and, and whatnot. But it, there is a definitely sense of like, oh, what does this mean? And how how do we now kind of mm. c- cope? And also like there are, like the language is fucking weird. <laughs> and you mm. have to like, le- if you, you learn that to kind of go to school and whatnot. So it's, mm. a re- it's you know, if you move there, there's, it's, co- it's I can Im- only imagine it being quite overwhelming because not only the language, but also the whole <coughs> way of, what it means Life, to yeah. yeah yeah to live there mm. and whatnot so it's a bit it's a bit of a yeah Wait, shock. Were, were you the first generation of your family born in Sweden yeah like your parents came over where are they mm-hmm. from they're my dad's from Hong Kong and my mom's 
She was uh, born and raised in India, but she's like her origins is from a central province in uh, China called Hubei. Okay. Or Hubei. Um, <laughs> well, give it a little flavor. Yeah. Give it a little spice. Hubei. Yeah, dude. Um, and but she, her, uh, her grandparents emigrated to India. Uh, during like the twenties, because it was so poor, right? And so my, but my grandmother was born in China, but then raised in India, right? So yeah, so kind of like, like kind of like Chinese heritage with mm-hmm. a bit of like Indian thrown in. Mm-hmm. So she was like me, but in India. Basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you speak um, Hindi? Yeah. I can English. understand a little, yeah. and I can say that I don't speak it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fair enough. All the crucial stuff. <laughs> exactly. And, and do you speak like Mando or Kanto or anything? I speak Kando, a Kanto. <laughs> <laughs> Mando or Kanto. Um, oh, Australian, dude. We yeah, know, exactly. We, we Asians, bro. That like, was what yeah. I was thinking. I was like, you're the most advanced white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've been waiting to hear that for years. <laughs> From a Swede, fucking count it. <laughs> most advanced white guy. <laughs> from Sandy. Yes, mate. You're so advanced. Thank you. Um, but did you grow yeah, up with Kanto. two cultures? Kind of, kind of cultures? Like yeah. three. Three, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. I grew, like, so, yeah, in, in, cause in Sweden, it was like at home, it was ch- like Chinese culture, but like my dad was Hong Kong culture, and then mm. my mom was like Indian culture, basically. Mm. I mean, cause that's the funny thing that, like, again, most white people don't know. Yeah. But like mainland China. And yeah, Hong Kong, yeah, 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 yeah. They do not the like each other. Mm. They do not get they on. They do not like each other. Like, <laughs> if you want to hear some racism, dude, ask a Hong Kong, <laughs> ask a Hong Kong person oh about a mainlander. God. They're just like those fucking animals. Like, <laughs> so racist. In the street. It's like, whoa. Oh, man. Like, white people could learn a thing or two. I'm yeah. just saying, like, you can really <laughs> let loose. That was what I was going to say. Like, Chinese people are racist, <laughs> but towards each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. not productive at all. No. Nah. <laughs> but it's like in I saw this because during the protest now in Hong Kong there was like this artist that made like a how to tell Hong Kong people apart from Ch- mainland Chinese people really? and like the Hong Kong people were like so glorious and like praising them yeah. and then the Chinese side was just like awful oh, like man. they don't know how to use a toilet oh, wow. <laughs> they, they spit in the street yeah, and like, yeah. I was like this is awful oh. and like Hong Kong people loved it yeah. they're like yeah yeah, I was like, oh. they do not want to be associated. They're like, no, nah, yeah. no, nah, dude, we're crashing it. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, Have you been to Hong Kong? No, no, no. I just no. Um, hung out a bunch of Asians growing up. Yeah. Like, yeah, because like, the, the funny thing, there's that one. Uh-huh. And then there's like, you know, China versus like everywhere else. Yeah. So like, you know, obviously Chinese <laughs> and Japanese don't get on because of the war. Yeah. And then like Korean, Koreans are doing pretty well. Like Koreans, South Koreans, yeah. like they're kind of high up there. And then I, one of my mates was from Cambodia. Oh. And he used to get fucking lit up, dude. Like, <laughs> fucking you cambo, like, come on. Can't even, can't even speak the language properly, dude. Like, you know, with Oh, my the, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Is that oh, from, from you? Other or? Asians. I'm from the other <laughs> Asians. Not from white people. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we're white. I want to make this very Asian. clear. I didn't participate. I just learned. Yeah. Yeah. I retained these stereotypes for future years. Um, That's hilarious. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So that because the thing, like, Australia is like incredibly, it's, we're in Asia, so obviously there's a lot of Asian people there. Yeah. So yeah. we actually know some shit. Whereas, where, yeah. Where did you grow up in Australia? Sydney. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sydney has a lot, yeah. Yeah, that was like, yeah, we get like, not just kind of like first gen, like people who are just international students and stuff. And yeah. But like, as well as like the first gen, second gen, we're probably the third gen now, actually. Yeah. Of like Asian immigrants yeah, in Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? So like, why did your parents choose Sweden? Like, that's, I mean, it seems like a... It seems like a great spot to be a citizen. <laughs> like yeah. it seems like they take yeah. care of you, but it also seems like fucking foreign and cold, like climate wise as well. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, like it's just like it's a, it's a it's an odd choice. Yeah, it is. Well, my my dad ha- ended up there because he basically he dropped out of school when he was fifteen, mm. and then he started working on like you know the HK barbecue places. And learning really? how to make H cake barbecue, Fuck yeah, yeah Hong Kong barbecue. That's like and my stuff. favorite, like chasu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. And uh, my dad makes a pretty mean duck, and I'm learning how to make crispy pork. So really? Before you go, maybe you should come by. Yes, mate. Um, oh, what's, uh, sorry, just for the London people, best Hong Kong barbecue, London. Do you have one? I haven't found one. Yet. You haven't found one. You gone? Have mm. you gone Goldmine? Where's that? Goldmine, like Lancaster Gate. It's no, like, dude, best <gasps> duck in London. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, I'll Definitely. go there. Lancaster Gate. I think it's Lancaster Gate. It's called Goldmine. <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting this up. Okay. Is it Lancaster Gate or Marble Arch? One of those. Like, okay. It's around Bayswater. Queensway. Oh, yeah, Bayswater. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a really good dim sum place out. there. And the, guy's got his, <laughs> the guy's got his jokes as well, which I like. He's like oh, really? Is he an uncle walking around? No, I don't. He's not an uncle. He doesn't have that vibe. He's got like kind of like the young guy vibe, um, which I enjoy. He's got these jokes, like, you know, because me and my girlfriend go, and she, yeah. they're like, how many people? Like two? And it's like, okay, table, 200 people. And I'm like, yes! Every time! Like, you fucking land that plane, dude. Like, yeah, love it. Um, That's anyway, great. The food better be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. Food Look, better I'm be good. It, I'm giving it the proper shout out. Because we got, we got um, Singaporean landlords. And I was like, when oh. we were talking to them, I was like, where do you get some barbecue here? Yeah. And they're like, mm. this is the only place. Really? And I'm like, bam, I'm in. Because I go to Chinatown and it's Chinatown fine. Chinatown blows, yeah, dude. But it's not. Yeah, Chinatown blows. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there one place in Chinatown that the service is so bad, like it's a tourist attraction Wonky. to go? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Straight in there, like, as a it. point of pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's the thing fucked here. Like, you go to a Vietnamese point, a Vietnamese joint, because that's a shortage where it's like all the Vietnamese, and like they all suck apart from two. And you know, because you walk in and no one's holding a child. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Unless there's a child being held, dude, I don't want to eat here. Yeah, like, yeah, what are you yeah. talking about? This exactly that's what you need or a child working the till yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> taking the orders just handling knives <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man no it's like oh, just ludicrous when you come from Australia just being like what are you guys doing yeah. like you, sometimes yeah Edinburgh you go to a tire joint and there's white people working there I'm like this is <laughs> yeah. fucked like this is taking their jobs you know what I mean like this isn't like oh um, man it's so wrong it's not okay so funny. I want to go to Australia and go to the they're at Chinatown. Dude, there. I'll take you around. Best yeah. restaurant in Australia. Golden Century. Open till 3 a.m. every night of the really? goddamn week. Yes, son. Cannot wait. First Golden thing I'm going to do when Century. I get home. Golden Century restaurant. The best. <laughs> do they have shark fin soup? Better. You bet they do. Shark fin soup? Do I, do oh, I eat it? As long as I don't pay for it. Shit's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> so expensive, dude. Oh, my gosh. And morally not right, right? No, nah, but I just you eat like it, and the sharks are afraid of you in the water. Yeah. They're not gonna bite really? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm fully, I'm fully, I'm fully your fins, you low dog, great yeah, white. <laughs> They're like, not oh my god, this. this dude eats us. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. Top of the food chain, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, dude, no. no oh god, I miss it so much. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so which, so Hong Kong barbecues worked up. He worked up to, and then he got like an internship at uh, one of those colonial hotels that oh, were wow. still kind of around. It ca- Repulse Bay, it was called, because his dad was an accountant there. Mm. Um, a colon- and a so colonial hotel in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, yeah. yeah. So I was going to be like, in Sweden? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird call. Yeah. Um, but like, and so he got into like an internship program there and like started training as a like proper chef whatever um is that, and is that like a white chef like is that yeah a like a white to yeah. serve white people basically. yeah 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 sure um and then after that he around when he was 19 his uncle my grandmother's brother was a sailor a sa- sailor yeah. man mm. or he worked on man. the ships <laughs> <Ahoy>. <laughs> 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 exactly yeah. he just sailor he man. was a sailor man um and he uh he had like you know been around the world and stuff, and he mm. really liked Sweden, so he went and moved over there and started um, a Japanese restaurant there. Sweden's first Japanese restaurant. Oh. Was and he so was he a Japanese or was he just playing? He was. He was yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. so um, and he and and back then or even now you can bring over people with expertise. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm. For work and stuff, so that's how he got my dad over. Right okay. to work um, at the Japanese restaurant. To work in the Japanese Sweden's restaurant. Sweden's first Japanese restaurant? Yeah. Is it still going? It is. Yeah, wow. give it a shout out. It is. It's called Mikado, and it's in Gothenburg. Um, he should really shut it down, though. <laughs> 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 but it's like, it's still good. Like, it's still quality. But it's like, he's so old. and he But he's still like, because my dad's uncle's like, I think he's 80 soon. Yeah. Yeah. Really? But he's really active and yeah. he, he's quite healthy. Yeah. Mm. Um, and he just can't stop working because he just likes it. Yeah. 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 That's but cool. Yeah. And still doing Sounds Japanese. Good. They haven't transitions. No, they yeah. haven't transitions. <laughs> 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 right. But now it's all cooked by mainland Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese would love that. Yes. <laughs> love that energy. That's so funny. Um, yeah. But that's, and then my mom, she, she went to Sweden because basically. Oh, so they met in Sweden. 
They met in Sweden. Because oh. she, uh, her mother, they had a friend in Sweden. And uh, it was like, oh, do you want to go there and work in his restaurant? And mm. she was like, yeah. But that was kind of like, she, because she was basically going over there to see if she liked their son. Oh, And if she liked wow. their son, they would get married. That's, that's then, sneaky. Then your, yeah. then your dad was like. Well, she actually ended up getting married to that dude. Uh, oh. And then getting divorced. Um, and then met my dad. Oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Very spicy. Yeah, <laughs> very, very spicy. Got, got the divorce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like it's interesting because in Hong, I think in China, arranged marriage just kind of faded away a long time ago. Yeah. Mm. But then they, um, because they emigrated in the twenties or something, they that diaspora has kept that up, and also because India, it's quite popular with arranged marriage still. Yeah. So I think the Chinese diaspora in India still arranges marriages. Mm. Yeah. Well, in India, like with the with the class stuff, they're pretty. Yeah. Pretty real about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, just, no. You know, like yeah. the Brahmins and all that stuff. They want to keep it. Yeah. Keep it in the fam. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Weird keep way to think about family. marriage, but <laughs> sure. Royal <laughs> family. Fuck it. Who am I, who am I to throw, exactly. throw shade on that? They're, uh, creating a dynasty yeah little dynasty yeah hell yeah of uh, inbred people <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of dynasty. running around <laughs> knocking each other's heads yeah and like so you were like rural norway i mean i'm inbred yeah you're inbred <laughs> i'm totally inbred. really yeah yeah, like yeah definitely just a tiny little village my mum and dad met when they were 17 oh yeah so together for life yeah and that's it wow yeah. what do they do um so my I kind of before I moved um, uh, moved to Norway because I didn't move there until I was twelve. So I grew up in Houston, Texas, and England actually. And oh. then I came. That's why I what? sound like this. Yeah, I know. Oh, Ooh. I just assume you watched a lot of TV. No, that's yeah, all. me too. No, no, no. <laughs> um, now, um, but yeah, basically, I mean, you don't have to kind of be Sherlock Holmes to get that. My dad works in oil, um, and basically, yeah. yeah. So we, he, my mum's a nurse, and um, yeah, he kind of got a job in Houston. We moved there. We didn't. We fit in kind of because we were white, white. But, but, <laughs> but, but but we were no, it's Everybody true. Kind of three, say it. Yeah, white. But yeah. Uh, but honestly, like yeah, the Norwegian accent is a little bit like this, and yeah. I think all of the Texans were like Canadian. They were they just assumed <laughs> we were Canadian, yeah, yeah. Um, and we yeah. were like, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just be Canadian. Um, but yeah, my my mum was really bored and that's why she got pregnant that's why i'm here this, this is like this is real no no i'm the youngest youngest yeah okay, she was she really bored. bored she was like in in America. America. yeah and really bored in houston texas there was nothing for her to do that's apparently hilarious. so she just oh she was like well i have kids so i'll just have them now and mm. then yeah and then we moved to um to yeah england and then um Always went to Norwegian school, so always kind of. Um, There's a Norwegian school in Houston, Texas. No, not there. I was but we be like, moved Fuck before. Me, bef they get no, 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 they, no. Yeah, I mean that would. That'd been be cool. amazing. Yeah, actually, um, I went to uh, a school in England, and I can only describe it as a very big house. Yeah, uh, and, and, and <laughs> wait, you're getting that, you know? This well, I can imagine because there's a Swedish school. Yeah, because there are a lot of Swedes here, but yeah. less Norwegian people. Yeah, here. totally. So yeah. it's just a house. What? <laughs> just what? And I, I can imagine kind of that. homeschooled. Um, yeah, homeschooled with other people. Yeah, other people and a few. Norwegian teachers, um, oh. and yeah, that was, it was a weird was experience. It all Norwegians in there? Yeah, pretty much. Because like in, in Australia, sometimes you get like regular kids going to like the French school, like Australian yeah. kids going to the French yeah, yeah. regular. Yeah. <laughs> I meant it. Uh, yeah. But like, yeah, going to like the French school. So it's yeah. like just all Norwegians. But why do you want to stay with your own? My like, my mum was language? like language. Yeah, my mum was really worried. She didn't know how long we were gonna stay, and she was like, "No, I don't want them to be British." <laughs> 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 and that is horrible. But that's what she. I mean, she's yeah. Yeah, she's I mean, that's very funny now that yeah. you live in London. Yeah, I know. She's kind of like, why are you not? What's going on? But, but um, yeah. how come they moved back to your hometown? Um, so And not like to Oslo or something? Yeah, I think... Because um, they seem very... Yeah, they seem yeah. actually a bit like... Travel traveled. Traveled. And that's that was the problem. When I went back to my village, I was contaminated. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was just like... I had seen Lion King, get me, you know, <laughs> and these, in my, I'd seen a musical and in my little village, everyone was just like completely like monoculture, completely the same. Everyone was kind of like, yeah, no one had really gone outside. And then, wow. yeah, it was really hard, but I, did, I didn't like it at all. Um, I don't know why they moved there. I have no idea. So at what age were you when you moved there? Um, 13. <laughs> and then, so your high school was yeah, in shit. the village. <laughs> 
like, you're like, I've seen the alternative lady, even though you're yeah. also like a blonde lady. It's yeah. just like, that's the alternative yeah, blonde Yeah, that's lady. the one. The regular ones. Okay. Yeah, she, yeah, it was weird. And it's, um, I love socialism, but I didn't like it for that one reason, because I could speak, I spoke like this in English, in my English class at, at right. school. And um, <laughs> they I didn't, teased you. Yeah, they teased Yeah, and then <laughs> they've got something called Jante yeah, Do you have that yeah, in there? Uh, how yeah. how, how, how prevalent is that? It's like short, it's like tall poppy syndrome. Um, it's oh. really prevalent, but yeah. I think, I feel like it's more prevalent in Norway because yeah. I've met Daniel Simonson. Yeah. And, and he is so, for life. he's so <laughs> scarred. He's so, I love Daniel, but man, is he like affected by Yantala. Yeah. So, so I, I kind of, they were learning, you know, in, in class, they were learning he, she, it is. Mm. And I, and I, you weren't allowed to. Be better. Y- you, oh yeah, you weren't allowed to read a book, or you had to sit. And like my teacher wrote "elephant" with an F. Like let's like they were <laughs> they were not the best teachers here. But right. it was just it was. I mean that's just an example. But I I, I found this, it. This is like a rural school. It was yeah, like a small school. Yeah, small okay. school. So I, I was just surely, you're like, like, surely in Oslo they'd just be nailing no, it in yeah. English. Oh, yeah, because no, English Oslo is so better. Good. Like. But there is a bit of a sense of like I like of course uh, like socialism is great, but there is a sense of like oh yeah like everyone is the same and and yeah. it's like oh kind of not but like Wait, do you yeah. guys identify as socialist in like in Norway yeah really yeah um oh. yeah yeah it's in Sweden as well yeah I mean it's it's based on socialism yeah definitely Mitch, did you know these goddamn pinkos in the UK? <laughs> 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 well I mean it's someone I mean, someone tells that guy MacArthur <laughs> it's definitely capitalist yeah, but yeah. but it's like it's it's in terms of like how the welfare and stuff it's very so, so rooted it, in socialism so, socialistic ideals socialistic, socialistic ideals guys but I would English agree. is my first language <laughs> I'll learn the point for you alright don't worry about it I got it um, wait so is it kind of like the Chinese thing where it's like red capitalism well, is that kind of the vibe that's or? communism uh, oh yeah oh you mean like that no you know no, 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 no no how it's kind of shifted like oh now. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Is, that, is that the kind of vibe like, no, no 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 this is like proper socialism it's like that's the tax thing that's like the that's yeah. why you get you know your student loans forgiven that's why mm-hmm. everything but, is but free but you are right like it is it is still it is still capitalistic in the way that like Right, but 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 the, the but in school m- it's like the tall poppy syndrome because like Australia's like tall poppy syndrome is like huge, right? That oh is like yeah. massive, oh like really? that is yeah incredible. But we would never say socialism, like you know we're we're too we're like too, it's a dirty word. Yeah, we're too Western. I, I guess it's that thing of like like mm. unions maximum, and even then, fuck, can't trust them. Bro. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> what if they're coming for the landowners? Uh, it's a little bit like. Um, yeah, your your kind of purpose is for other people, so you don't kind uh-huh. of the thing of like chasing your own desire or like you you wanting to kind of get get up or get ahead and mm. and like that thing is like no, actually your purpose is here to kind of help be a part of a society and kind of that right. that I don't know. Am I explaining it correctly in a way? No, like yeah, definitely. Um, there's no like. You don't talk about how successful you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, you can be successful, but you don't talk about it. And it's almost a bit like, if you're successful, other people will talk about you behind your back a bit and be like, oh, that guy, he sold his company for $60 million. Oh, my God. Like, what is he? It's, it's weird. It's but a I weird kind of... I don't yeah. buy into that at all, because, like, Australia says the exact same thing. This is one of my big problems with Australia. Oh, like, yeah. they say, hey... It's not that you can't be successful. It's just that you can't talk about it and that you have to be humble. Mm. No, there's no way. I'm sorry if you're like, hey, you're, you're achieving, like, fuck you. Yeah. But as long as you don't talk about it, it's fine. No, because all you hear is don't achieve. Stay part of the pack. Don't yeah, be ambitious. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate it. It's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It's yeah. embarrassing. I, I think so too. I think it's kind of tough and it's like if it's ingrained um, into you, like I think... Because <laughs> it is. Daniel. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, it kind of, it's really hard to to not feel guilty and yeah. it's like, that's just so unnecessary to yeah. to sit and feel and like be... <laughs> oh, sit just, and feel. <laughs> 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 I, just, I just enjoy that it's like three comedians complaining about tall poppy syndrome. <laughs> It's like, yeah, why isn't it okay to think everyone should listen to me at all times? <laughs> while you're not allowed to talk. Like, yeah. how dare you? But no, it's so funny. I, I just had no idea that was part of, like, Scandinavian culture. I, I assumed you were go-getters, really. Like... Mm. It's it's yeah. also Luther, Lutheran and kind of cr- the Christianity thing and kind of, like, it's going back in history and, like, Denmark made everyone... Uh, 
religious. They were the ones who imposed it on mm. on on all of the Nordic countries. So and they were, that, well, that's when they were in charge of all of it. Yeah, that's when they yeah, kind of yeah, conquered yeah. it. Yeah. The Danes were like, "You're going to get some religion." Up yeah, here. basically, okay. yeah. And then that kind of just stuck. But right. I think more and more it's kind of loosening up in terms of like, yeah, the religious aspect. Like that, I mean, ch- yeah, church and state are separate and whatnot. But before, when I went to school, I you had to attend church. But now it's like optional, and that was you like had to attend church. Yeah, you had to attend you, church. Did you have to from. attend church as well. well we I, I think this is rural, right? This is yeah. more the rural yeah. in the city. <laughs> you wanted to no, because like just just because yeah. like. Yeah, because like Australia obviously has huge rural areas, and like yeah. yeah, like the way that you're talking about it really reminds me of like Australian country yeah. towns, and I think country towns around the world are quite similar, similar yeah, totally. especially like Western countries, you know, mm. where it's like it's less hard mm. and like there's less poverty, but it's just like you're just kind of small, mm. and so like the but the monoculture thing is crazy. Well, in Sweden, it was like you would have your um, school. Uh, what's it called? The finishing when you finish school, it would o- the ceremony would always be in the church. So every in the church. Yeah, so every yeah. um every term when you finish yeah. the like ceremony would be held in a church and you would just wow. kinda, you know, like sing like w- spring songs and, and stuff. Spring songs. So yeah. not to like God, but to like the no, sun. Yeah, just to, like Doing some pagan shit? Just some no, no, no. Just like um songs that were popular in Swedish culture. Right. Like I don't know if you know what Pippi Longstocking is. Pippi Longstockings. Pippi. Yeah, Pippi. I love Pippi. Do you yeah. know Pippi? Yeah, yeah. I know Pippi Longstockings. Oh, cool. Yeah. So the right. right. You, got, you got Pippi Longstockings, right? Yeah. You yeah, got yeah, Pippi yeah, Longstockings, yeah. yeah. So red, the, red hair. Yeah. Yeah. Red hair, the strongest girl. Yeah. So like, Stripey stockings, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Okay. Kind of wears Wally, horse. but leg wear. <laughs> wears Wally, but easy to find. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so the writer, um, the author of that, she authored so many different kind of popular children's stories. Right. And there were songs... Uh, that she that were kind of from her uh, who Kalimumbi and stuff like that is that Astrid thing yeah no Kalimumbi yeah uh, I don't oh, <laughs> we'll talk later <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no but like uh, Carlson Patak yeah Carlson Patak yeah Emil yeah. in Lundeberg yeah Emil um, Lotta yeah Lotta <laughs> just, just so, so right now this is bad yeah. content <laughs> <laughs> this is like <laughs> too scary yeah <laughs> If you have any Scandies listening, they'll be, they'll love no, it. They'll love it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just sitting yeah. here being like, yeah. this is so rude. I no. speak one language, guys. Yeah. One. But yeah. you're right. Like, I would say the church yeah. was is very involved and it uh, you don't mm. think about it. You don't second guess it. You're just like, oh, yeah. M- more soon. involved than here? Like, Yeah, I think so. Really? I've always Not thought. Not in Sweden, I think. Oh, okay. But maybe. Uh, I don't know. In terms yeah. of the UK, I feel yeah. like, I just think that that was like the place that, that was the place to go if you had like yeah exactly like i think i had my graduation at like yeah. church and whatnot but yeah right yeah i was gonna say just with like you were talking about people on stuff mm. obviously sweden you would sing those songs uh-huh. uh, that's why like you would sing songs from that and stuff right okay yeah. so more like popular stuff than like religious yeah. stuff yeah okay but like just with um sweden seems to have had a much more cultural impact mm. like because from the outside you know i think it's like you know norwegian people are hot <laughs> think Swedish people are hot. Swedish people are hot as I well. Think th- I think Swedish people are definitely known to be like the hot. hottest one. Yeah. Really? Sweden? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Norwegians, Norwegians are absolutely. Sweden's no, ahead. No, no, no. I think it's, are I think really it's hot Swedish. as well. I think, I think like that's, Danes that's are ugly. Danes are ugly. We <laughs> hate Danes you. Are ugly. And Good. Finns, ugh. Yeah. No, <laughs> Finns just sound like this. Cut, 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 cut. Sorry. That. I, mean, I, love, I love Finnish people, but we just can't understand that. That's the problem. Every region has its racism. No, I, <laughs> like, but you guys are like yeah, it's fucking Finns, Finns, and, uh, <laughs> and, yeah, and Iceland Finns. they're just far away they're yeah Iceland like, are far away on an island yeah. Yeah. is that Scandi? Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, Nordic. 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 Nordic, not Scandi. Yeah, okay. You, <laughs> it's the three that are Scandi: Norwegian, Swedish, Denmark. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and then so wait, yeah, because just with the like, uh, both both are known for being hot, I think. But I like I like also that it's not just like it's not gendered. It's like the men oh, yeah. and the women are hot. Oh yeah. When you talk about like Sweden and Norway, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's not it's not like ah hot women. It's like mm-hmm. no no no, they're just hot, all of them. Yeah. yeah Which yeah. is that is there like pressure on that? Like as people? Like you guys kinda <laughs> like, I'm not it's kinda like me being like outdoorsy or masculine. I'm like, nah. I think it's not really my vibe. If really? you're <laughs> <laughs> second thing, merch counter. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, as like an immigrant going up there, you're definitely aware of the fact that you don't look like a tall Aryan goddess. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if if there's like a if there because they're just 
Yeah. They're just naturally hot. So there's like a high standard of like dressing nicely uh-huh. and and looking good. And like fitness but as well. Like fitness you gotta be in is shape. popular. Yeah, okay. fitness is popular. But like I don't know if there's a, like beauty standards. If they're, I don't think it's as much as in America. Let's say. I, and uh-huh. I and I would or say Korea or yeah. China. I would say like there's not that culture of like plastic surgery. Yes. Yes. I, I, it's all about like natural. More natural. Yeah. Beauty. It's all about yeah. like being outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being in the being know, active. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but I will say this like as a white blonde blue eyed girl, um, <laughs> you know I I think there's enough insecure twats uh who are like like yeah i was definitely insecure growing up and i do right. think i think you can become a bit skewed because i think like well it's it's i mean yeah like i i had a lot of friends who who got yeah were very um i think too too much had emphasis on like the exterior mm. but i don't know if that's just being a teenager or just being d- a dumb white chick i don't really <laughs> know. like i don't know i think i was a, an idiot i think yeah. i was a twat and i think i definitely had like self esteem issues but i just think that's just being in yeah. patriarchy yeah. <laughs> I, don't oh, know. Patriarchy. I, i don't know if that's just like oh, but 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 <laughs> um but i don't know but yeah i i would say there is I think there's pressure in every in wherever you are but it's not the whole thing of like uh, like what I see now in terms of like the UK like get your lips done or like you do all of this kind right. of stuff yeah, that, it's definitely that, not that that's 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 not would, would you like dye your hair blonde though? Yeah like, would yeah that yeah be like that a was thing? yeah I mean right. we have Love Island yeah, in love, Sweden oh my God. Paradise Hotel it's called Yes that's Paradise it Hotel. Paradise, Paradise you Hotel be, You want to be outdoors you want to be indoors Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Paradise though That's so funny Just chill in the lobby dude It's like we go to Greece and film it and That's funny Yeah so I mean there is that culture yeah, too but totally. it's not raining because here it feels like it's yeah. rain like page three girls and stuff right and it's an actual thing that people try to strive to be i know right there's I more was, effort i was yeah. gonna say uh-huh. i think that's really interesting as well because like i think the heritage is in terms of like being quite religious but actually we're very liberal in many ways yeah uh-huh. super super liberal and yeah, yeah. but if you fuck up oh boy will you be judged yeah. do you know what i mean there's a real kind of line of like You, you know, um, if anyone would do like be a page three uh, mm. model, you would be like dismissed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, so it's very harsh, actually. And then like, I but I would go home and my mom is. Um, I mean, she's just like, if there's like 10 degrees, she's, she's just in her bra waltzing around. So that I don't know. Like, I grew up with a very kind of liberal. I don't know what I'm trying <laughs> to say about my mom here, but but <laughs> but basically she's oh god. Oh wait, but she's very like she's you know she's very body whatever positive and, yeah and like just like hey here here we are very, well, that's <laughs> very it's, it's not, yeah, yeah yeah but but then again like the princess or the prince of sweden he married a glam model mm. oh. and, but they change mm. her images <laughs> change now mm. so he married mm. a glam model and she was like i think she was in a reality show as well Yeah. She was in like Survivor or something. Oh Swedish man, Survivor. this is ringing bells. Swedish Survivor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, um, and then she, uh, what's it called? She, she was a, a glam model posing in like the the kind of magazines, male magazines, men's magazines, men's magazines in like Sweden. Tall reviews, like lingerie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guy standing next to a car. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Like their photo. I think you can probably we can find photos of her oh, uh, online great. somewhere. Yeah. Um, and then he met her. Fell in love, I guess, and then oh, was wow. like, "I'm gonna marry this chick." And they But started. They were like, "Okay, we have to reinvent her." Yeah, like, yeah. I forget. You have a royal family as well. Yeah, royal family, and she was like, she smoked weed, so we were like, "Whoa!" She smoked <laughs> weed, yeah, badass. Her name is uh, Metha Mare. Yeah, yeah, and it's so funny. And uh, her brother w- went in the class of my mum, so that's right. really like this is oh. how tiny it is. But anyways, she was like a bad. <laughs> like bad bitch but um, <laughs> yeah she's like she's she's also like had rebranding uh, yeah. but our royal family is bizarre like the 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 um Come princess, so that's the princess. She believes in angels, and it's all about like crystals. Angels? Yeah, yeah. She has oh. this angel school about like whispering to the angel within and shit. So she's batshit crazy. That's amazing. Yeah. Dude, that's so much more interesting. Than <laughs> yeah. these, these fuckers. Yeah, like the, the English royal. Who cares? Yeah. British royal family. I, I was Not just doing thinking. nothing apart from running people over. Mm. Rubbish. 
Rubbish, and man. the Epstein thing. Is Pardon? <laughs> Don't forget the Epstein stuff. <laughs> 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 they killed Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein oh, didn't kill shit. himself. Keep that going. Yeah, Prince Andrew is... Uh, he's, he's crazy. He's a, he's a naughty boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's so British. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a, he's a massive pedophile. What should we describe him as? Well, a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely that. I think... Um, is that... Oh, fuck. Is that li- libel? Did I just... Fuck. I probably have to edit that now. I don't, edit I, that I don't think he's listening. No, <laughs> no but you've got to be <laughs> careful about that shit. I don't You're know. You're going to get cancelled. Just say alleged. Allegedly. Allegedly. Alleged. Um, anyway. But I think I think what I, I'll say is like it's all about being if if you're liberal and you're kind of um, that body positivity, which I think is really good. It's like it's being sexy on your terms, if that makes sense, as a right. woman. Mm-hmm. Versus if you like exploit yourself, that's mm-hmm. when it's deemed like no. That's when like, Norway doesn't like it. Yeah, that's when. We Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. I, was, I, was, I was just going to say because like, it kind of makes sense from the stuff you're saying about Swedish TV having its own like versions of every show. Does Norway have the same thing? Yeah, and like even worse ones. Even worse ones. <laughs> we no. just copy. Excuse me. <laughs> we just copy the Swedish. So thing. you did a copy on the coffee. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> you guys seem to be like the cultural, like you're putting more mm. like things out there. I was. Wait, yeah. Mm-hmm. I will oh, say yeah. this. No, I was just going to say this. Did you watch Scum? I didn't. Okay, I cool. haven't yet, but okay. it's it's uh, it's the biggest thing to come out of Scandinavia and then Norway as well uh, mm. for years. But people loved it. Yeah, yeah. Right. I haven't seen it. Is yet. that like a TV series? I think that's the only contribution we can we can <laughs> co- like that's <laughs> the only thing we've done uh, that sure. was actually yeah. good. Because like you guys, yeah, yeah obviously like IKEA. That's, how tired is Swedish identity to? Ikea. You guys say Ikea, Ikea right? Like, Ikea. You know, so, yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is, everybody has something from Ikea in their house. Yeah. Uh, and then when you can afford to not have it, um, you can you can <laughs> look at, like, other things. That's so true. But everybody <laughs> has something yeah. from Ikea. And it's so classic. And it's like, um, unless you put effort into not having anything, then... Yeah, you'll have something. Yeah, you'll have something. But, like, is it... Is it weird to have like a kind of national identity so tied to like furniture? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, because like honestly, that's like what like basically when I think of the Swedish flag, yeah. like I think of it as the IKEA logo, like yeah. blue, blue, yellow. Like it's all yeah. Like that's the branding of the country. Like it's bizarre in that sense. I will say it's probably it is very, it's very I, Swedish values though. I think the Ingvar yeah. Kamprad, he like he he. Tied in a lot of Swedish values mm. into IKEA, yeah. maybe purposefully, mm. but it's that thing of like, oh, self-made man, and then, oh, we're gonna do it ourselves, and yeah. we're gonna put some grease into it, yeah, right. and Fam- uh, family, open spaces, family, all of that yeah. kind of stuff, and the, the and meatballs, and yeah, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 meatballs are like pretty sick, affordable, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's like great. I go to IKEA here a lot <laughs> <laughs> just to like eat. Dude, do, you have, do you ever just like speak like a little bit of Swedish just to see if anyone yeah, anyone's, yeah. anyone's got it covered? You know, just like, uh, I just right, pronounce no. the words and so I go and I'm like, excuse me, can you help me with Marit? <laughs> 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 just show off. Just give it a little twang. Yeah. And like, the, other thing, the other thing was like the girl with the dragon tattoo and that whole oh, series. Yeah. yeah. That was Swedish. Sweet. That was Swedish. Yeah. Yeah. Did that. Like, because that's, that's what I mean. Like, those are like these two kind of big cultural things. It was like, no, I, I haven't heard of scum. No, scum is just like, what was insane about it was like, it was just all, it was like social media as well as like a TV series that you could follow. Oh. But like, it, there's been, you know, there's, yeah, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, all of the crime series, all of that kind of the bridge. And and then um, for for a while, I was so happy because um, there was um, that, that, the killing. And the mom's character was called Panilla. And I was like, yeah, people knew how to like <laughs> say, say my name. name for a while. And then they forgot. But yeah, yeah there's a lot of killing. Yeah. It's kind of like dark because like yeah. you guys, yeah, yeah it's the same it's with like heavy metal and, and stuff. And like, yeah. Yeah, huge yeah. heavy metal scene. Yeah. yeah, huge. Like you got this like weird kind of like underbelly. Yeah. Like as a, as a few countries. Like, oh, these like sweet little yeah. farm people with their blonde hair. And then it's like, then there's like these faux <laughs> Nazis. Like, you know, over rituals. Here. Yeah, like yeah. rituals? They're rituals. I don't know. I just said something. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, tell me about that shit. <laughs> but like, like it, I think it's because you live so close to nature. And if you see the landscape and like, I understand, like if you're tripping, you will concoct some weird shit. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the trees <laughs> and like the mat, like it's all like 
ominous and weird and, and it's dark cold and, and cold. Dark, yeah and that's why all like the childhood stories like we sing this nursery rhyme and it's all about a troll tying up her yeah okay she knows uh, <laughs> tying up tying like these uh, her kids tails together mm. so that they don't get lost and it's all very like vish like yeah it's very weird but you just grow up with this and accept it for yeah. <laughs> right. heartedly because people used to believe in like yeah, trolls yeah and they believed in like uh, little um, elves coming and stealing your stuff in the winter and they believed in like uh, what's it called Baris Roa which is like a it's like a spiritual thing combined with a troll and she seduces men into the forest. Huldoch, is that Huldoch, the green, the green Maybe woman? Yeah, she's yeah. like a, she turns into a cow sometimes, but then she's yeah. mostly this green nymph in the woods yeah, and, nymph, she'll, nymph. <laughs> and exactly. she'll lead nymph. you astray. <laughs> yeah, she'll lead you that astray. That was kind of a thing for and, like, yeah. 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 This is totally normal, right? <laughs> the, the, the way and you could get sentenced to like that. Full moon. Many others on that bad boy. <laughs> So weird. Oh, yeah. man, so weird. So with all this stuff, like, why, why did you guys come to the UK? Like, what? Because oh like, <laughs> the thing is, like, it seems like the conditions are quite good. I mean, like, as an Australian, like, mm. I have to answer this question because everyone's like, "But everything's so nice there." And mm. I'm like, "Yeah, but I wanted to be a comedian, so exactly uh, it's, that that was it. Like, yeah. that was it for me. Yeah. Me too. I mean, I live in Gurra. Them, there are about two hundred cows <laughs> to perform to, and I was like, "Oh my god, dude!" Cow. I found out yesterday. This oh, this really bummed me out. My friend, she works at the zoo oh. at Taronga Zoo in Australia, and oh. she does the presentations for the seal show. Oh. Those seals get a thousand people three times a day fucking cunts uh, <laughs> three thousand people a day can Seals. you balance a ball on your nose yeah <laughs> that's more people than if you sword. learn how to clap <laughs> like that i can i can do it yeah <laughs> I can do it. daniel clapping for the rest of the podcast <laughs> i can do it i was just like my god we gotta become seals that's yeah. the future of comedy oh my god okay so like because the, the scene over there i've done a few gigs over there it seems like it's not there's not a lot in the old sweden and the norway Mm. There's like um the the so I started out, uh, um I started out as an actor and then uh there's loads the, the scene in acting and theatre is, is huge and it's mm. really what's great about it is like money is given to the theatre so the theatres take risks it's like insane oh, and it's funding, really funding of course yeah, funding, yeah. funding yeah oh and then God. um there are what's really n- normal I think back home is there are a few comedy venues but the, the, the they tour. And that's uh-huh. really, that's like the thing to do. You tour up and down the country and whatnot. And um, how, how many like professional comedians would there be in Norway? Uh, we've got about five and they're all on telly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I'm, th- I'm sure there's more. And, I, and actually the scene is booming. I haven't been there, so I can't really say. Oh, you haven't been for a while. How, uh, long, no. how long have you been here? Um, about nine or ten years. Wow. And so then wow. for the first five, I was acting. And then I got into uh-huh. comedy and I've been doing comedy for about three years. So straight, straight out of... Uh, university or straight out of school? Did you come here? Yeah, kind of university. University, came, came and did here, you study yeah. acting in? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And what about what about you, Evelyn? How long have you been here? Oh, um, did you study seven? Yeah. Well, I I used it as an excuse. I yeah. I went to um, the I got an Erasmus exchange. Oh, cool. How did that? Um, That's what it did in Berlin. Erasmus. Oh, yeah? Well, it's not. I don't get. I don't but get you're to be called EU. Erasmus because it's a yeah. yeah. I did the same thing though. Oh. This wasn't called that. <laughs> It was I like see, home brand exchange. Like it wasn't like home the home pro- brand exchange. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like the pro- like the proper brand. That's the brand name. Like it's not, you know what I mean? It's not Lego. It's like Duplo. Like yeah, that's, yeah, what, yeah. that's my exchange. All right, this is making that's no hilarious. sense. This um, but yeah, so you did exchange it. I did, and it was mostly an excuse to be able to come over here with some money. Uh huh. Because um, yeah. you get a little bit of a stipend to come. Of course, you get a fucking and stipend. Yeah. Everything in Sweden has yeah. a stipend. <laughs> like this is what I'm gonna say. I never knew that you pronounced it stipend. Oh, what did uh, you say? I, I, I thought it was like stipend, but that's just... Oh, that's like in Swedish. Oh, yeah. Or in, I, I didn't know that that's how you said that word. Great, Stipendium. thanks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry <laughs> to stop the Guys, flow. But <laughs> every, ev- everybody's learning stuff there. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah, so um, you did the Erasmus thing. I did the Erasmus and then thing. And you had to go I, back for a bit. No, I stayed, and I'm not sure even if I graduated from if i completed my course properly i can't remember oh. but they haven't asked for the money back so that's good <laughs> um and so I, I and then i i started doing comedy and then uh or started doing the scene and stuff and i was like oh this is actually fun mm. i actually came over if i'm honest like i just wanted i felt like i hit a ceiling in sweden in terms of my own development mm. and so i was like i, I just want to go somewhere where nobody knows who i am so i can try this anonymously right and so and when I came here, it, 
it was just a bit more challenging because there are a lot more people here and it's more competitive. And also I got to do it in English. So I just developed so much in a year mm. compared mm. to what I had for four years in Sweden. Yeah. But did you go to Swedish? Can I just ask, did you go to Swedish school or did you go to... So I went to... to international. I, st- I stole the accent from TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fresh Prince Bel <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've always been uh, I've always been like uh, a very Americanized because in Sweden it's like a lot of American TV yeah, I don't know, yeah, in yeah, Norway yeah, as well probably yeah. and then I, I went to Swedish school until uh, we were going to do high school and I chose to do the international baccalaureate yeah, oh, yeah. my Which sister like, did that did she yeah you have to be smart to do that oh my god yeah, it's <laughs> Evelyn <insane. Yeah>. <laughs> not, to, not to freak anybody I out I wasn't smart I did that. Did you? Oh my in god, Dan! Three years, Fuck. three years in high just, school. Just the two. Oh, again. just the two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hated it. Did you hate it? Um, Are you smart? No. <laughs> Australian. No. Mm. Tall poppy. No. Mm. Um, no. I I liked it because it was mainly exams, and oh, if, yeah. if if it's an exam, I can probably beat you. But if oh. it's an assignment, I will not do it. So oh. I'll lose. So it suited me because the Australian thing's like 50 50. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. fuck that, dude. I want to beat you in the room. You know, like, come on now. Um, but yeah, That's good. I didn't mind. Like, it was fine. Like, I just was, I wasn't a good student. Can I mm. ask you what you graduated with? Do you know how many points you had? Yes. I don't remember. It wasn't great. 37? I had like 27. 27. Oh, I love it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then I retook one of the exams the next year because you can do that. I uh, failed maths. You failed so maths. Oh. It must have been that I reached. Was, was it was it studies or standard level? It was standard. <laughs> oh, standard's the middle one, right? Yeah. Studies the bottom. Yeah. Standard. I had standard. I should have been studies. Dude, <laughs> what are you even doing out there? <laughs> and um, I'm Asian. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. yeah. No. I. Yeah. It was kind of cool. I don't know. It seemed more holistic than like Australian school is very like learn this to do this. Whereas yeah. the IB is kind of like we're just gonna read. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah. You fucking hippies. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, so what, what was, was... Was there like a big cultural change coming here? Did you guys like feel it? I assume like just the rural thing to the big city thing. Yeah, I was completely lost. I hated London. I right. thought I, I was just like, this is... I don't know what I'm doing. And <laughs> I was just really lost. And I think now... But still to this day, I think London like kicks me in the... the in tush, the cunt. In the cunt. That even better. Yeah. <laughs> it's true though. It does. Like I, I, I'm still navigating... What, what it is to, to be here. I think in terms of cultural um, differences, I, I, there are very, m- like for example, now that I've been here this long uh, and I guess like dated English guys, I really <laughs> understand. No, but I understand like who, who your dad, like who does your dad support a football is very integral to who you're going to support in football, like stuff like that. <laughs> and that's like, that's an observation. And also like, I mean, this, I, this, I fucking hate. I hate when it's like, what school did you go to? Did you go to public or private or grad? Right. Like there's that, and that kind of shit. Is that it's not, just, oh, is, is it, that's Norway really, all state? All state. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I right. don't, I find that really. In Australia, that's super common. Because like, they want to call you a wanker if it's a private school and yeah. you want to call you a pop because yeah. it's a public school. You know, it's, all, <laughs> it's all pretty simple. Yeah. Um, it's not a lot to it. You know what it's I mean? It's just which name you want. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you got to get made fun of either way. Like, yeah. There's no winning. Like, there's no getting out. Like, but yeah. I, f- I feel like much more now that I, I've been here in Britain, it's like really integral. Like, are you are you f- like Northern or are you Southern? That's like yeah. a huge divide. Class. Where, yeah, class, basically. Yeah. No Where did you go to school? It. No, exactly. And I feel like that's a real issue. And, and also the whole... I mean Brexit sh- shenanigans, which uh, shenanigans? yeah, which is just good, good English word yeah. again. En- English euphemism. Euphemism, yeah. You know, the, know the political and economic <laughs> divide that could ruin our country forever. Yeah, yeah. the shenanigans. Yeah, um, the good. stuff. I, I read. Okay. okay. Um, you read? Hell yeah. No, but that that also is just highlighted a lot of things that I don't has, think has that is made you guys more foreign than you were before yeah definitely right yeah I think I just but the people still think that understand. you're Swedish or do they just assume you're just Asian they assume I'm Canadian <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> because they're like wait she has a North American accent but she can't be American there are a lot of Asian people in Canada oh, <laughs> that's cool. funny or something you must be Canadian something. look yeah. at you come on now Canadian yeah. um, but I also I find it really tough the social interaction I don't understand I don't understand banter what do you mean? Which is weird to yeah. say because I'm a but comic. I mean, you're on a fucking but podcast. This is all it is. Just 
Yeah, but you know? that thing of like, like Swedes and Norwegians are super repressed, and we tend to be very ironic and stuff, and uh-huh. not say what we mean. But fuck me, Brits are on another level. Yeah. Okay. It's like you can never get a genuine yeah. kind of answer from I a British person, that. and I just don't under. I just can't. I don't know where people. I I don't know where I have people because I guess a stereotype <laughs> with Scandinavians is that we're quite um, direct. Direct. Yeah. 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 I mean, you definitely are. Yeah. 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 And I just and, and you find Brits that weird aren't. when you Yeah. I think it's weird small talk and when I'm talking yeah, talking to someone and I'm not really actually having a connection there like mm. I'm I'm really fucking demanding but I need to like I if it's just super superficial, I yeah. don't like it. So I uh, yeah, I, don't, I find it really here. hard to that, that is a stereotype about you guys that yeah. I've heard. Yeah, you don't do small talk. You'll be like, let's just not do this. We'll yeah. just be silent. Yeah. And I'm like, that sounds terrible. That sounds <laughs> real scary. It's like, oh I know the weather's bad. Oh yeah. whatever. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll assume you're concocting. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, like this they're fucking scheming with all the silence. <laughs> this is terrifying. I wanna ask you something. Of course. Um Australia, you like ABBA a lot. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Oh, you do. I can't believe I didn't bring that up. Like my yeah. fiance's like favorite band is ABBA. Like yeah. really? your Australia's favorite band is ABBA. No, my fiance um, like ABBA. Oh really? Like, yeah, like uh, in in Australia, like yeah, we like it. Like I like ABBA. How can you yeah. not like ABBA? Mm. It's ABBA. But how come? Like how come they got so big over there? I, I look, I have no idea. Like the thing with Australia is like you got to remember, especially back then, like just what was introduced. Like yeah. there yeah. was so little stuff. So like if they just kind of went out there, like at that kind <laughs> yeah. of time. It's like Stephen Kamos is huge in Australia mm. just because he went there in the 90s when no one else really did. Like, he yeah. just kept coming. And Australia's like, well, I guess we like him. Like, here's, yeah. what, here's what we got. Like, no, no offense to it. Like, just like, just if you come, we will, like, it's like, uh, what's, um, oh, what's that band called? Uh, the one, the song with Breeze Block, Alt J. Huge in Australia. <laughs> yeah. No idea why. Yeah. Just like, they just kind of came at the right, you know, just kind of yeah. hit the right note. Like, yeah. With a That's continent. So, <laughs> so it was like ABBA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like ABBA, just like, yeah, I guess just, you know. It just, it right just they're just there at the right what time. What do you think so of funny. AHA? I've, I've, I've never thought of them. What is really AHA? Take, take on me. Take on me. me. Uh, I know that song, but that's all I got. Okay. Yeah. Is that yeah. are they Swedish? They're Norwegian. Norwegian. Oh, yeah. sorry, dude. That's Again, okay. the IKEA or whatever the that's Norwegian right. furniture company. That's is. All right. Um, would you guys ever go back? Would you ever go back to? Oh, I think about it every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, really I, I do. think I think it would be cool to go to Oslo because I've never yeah. like I think a lot of my family live there now and I've got two nieces and they're growing up like really quick. Um, right. But also mm. to do like um, comedy there would be really cool. In, in Norwegian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, There's God. a nice scene. I was t- I was. T- I was, I'm so impressed because Evelyn does stand up in Swedish and I was like, uh-huh. oh no, <laughs> how? <laughs> how do you even do that? But yeah, yeah. so I've, I've never tried it. it. Yeah, you You've can. never tried it? Never but tried it. But you have, Evelyn. You've done it like a bit. I've done it. Yeah, you, you I started, started. started in Swedish. I okay. started in Swedish and uh, uh, it's it's okay. Yeah, it's. I mean, the thing is it'll take, uh, now that I'm doing it in English, it takes me like maybe one or two times to to get in the flow of it. Yeah. Uh, but then it's so cultural. So it's like, if I were to write material in Swedish, it would be so Swedish yeah. culturally right. thing, themed that It'd it's like, It'd be a okay. different act to your English act, essentially. Could be, could be. I right. mean, I st- I'll st- I'd still talk about dicks and vaginas. But, um, I mean, that's part of the law. <laughs> that's part of the law of comedy. But I, I, I'm sure you would be fine. Yeah. Like, and I, there's a really nice scene and a nice alternative scene as yeah. well in yeah. Oslo. That's true. They, they love the clown. They love the, okay. the clown the and they love that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, because obviously, yeah. Um, what's his name? Vigo. Yeah, yeah, Vigo. Yeah. Yeah, Vigo Vigo's band. great. Shout out yeah. to the to Yeah, the he's great. And so then there's, um, there's a guy called Mart- Martin Bayer Olsen, who's doing oh, yeah. a lot for the scene. Yeah, he was in uh, Edinburgh, so he's really, really ah. good. Really dry, in really Lush funny. Berum. Yeah. yeah. Right. Who's um, who's probably the biggest the biggest comedian? I don't know. Probably Simonson or no? Yeah, in terms I mean, of now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would, I would say yeah. that. Yeah. And what about what about Sweden? Who's oh. who you got? Is it you? Are you number one? Evelyn. Yeah. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna make someone admit the number one has just told me about yeah. tall poppy syndrome <laughs> infiltrating their youth. I'm pretty. I'm I'm definitely the one who's been in England the longest. Yeah. Wow. But I think the biggest. Um, there's a guy called Bjorn Gustafsson. You must have seen him, right? I think so. Yeah. He's uh he's been in he's more he used to do stand up but he's more of a comedy actor and improviser I would say yeah and he's delightful and he was in Spy 
with Melissa McCarthy. Yes, oh. he was, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh and man, he was in another. He was in another Paul oh. Feig, uh, People of Earth. Yeah, right. Um, with uh, seems so like kind of Hollywood. But I, I he, think he is. I hope he's doing more. I, I think so. I just think we're quite funny because we're so serious. Like the mm. acting and yeah. the, the style of performance is so serious that actually it's really fucking funny. And right. I wish more people would do comedy because actually yeah. I think if I think about N- Norwegians, they're just they don't have any filter. They're really awkward little yeah, little yeah. <laughs> beings that they're just naturally quite like. Yeah. yeah. Hi, like a bit, bit kind there's, of. There's like a real bit. sense of humor to how they are. Yeah. Yeah. Naturally. Already. Already. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, um, this is the final question of the <gasps> podcast. You guys have been awesome. Um, we'll start with Panut. Uh, where would you live if not for London? Um, You've got any option. Doesn't need to be career related. This is just for the lifestyle. This is just for the vibe. It can be. No- it can be Norway. It can uh, be home. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's such a hard question. Um, I think, I think New York. New like, York? Yeah, New York. New York's such a common answer. Yeah, People I love, just love New York. it. Have you been? Yeah, I have. Do you have an American citizenship? Yeah. Yeah, <gasps> exactly. I know. I, I Why ca- aren't you there I instead should, of I here? Should. I know. I, I'm going I'm, 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 I'm planning it. No. I, um, I, to LA. Yeah. I calculated that earlier. I was just like, I'm marrying Pinelo yeah. this podcast. Okay. That's the thing. My fiance, fucking Australian as well. Yeah. Useless. Yeah. Useless. <laughs> Both of us just Australian. Terrible stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What about what about you, Evelyn? Where would you go? I mean, I would want to say LA or New York because I want to go to America eventually. Mm. But um, I've never lived there. But uh, if if it was independent of anything, it would be Stockholm probably. Mm. It's my favorite city. Mm. Better than um, hometown Gothenburg? Yeah. G-Berg? Do they yeah. call it G-Berg? Stockholm is yeah, amazing. Y- you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Stockholm's great. Yeah, it's yeah. so, so nice. I think it's the right size. How big is how big is the right size? Uh, it's smaller than here. Mm-hmm. It's maybe, it would probably be cent. Like two mil? Three mil? <laughs> it would probably be like out to zone... Five, maybe five. Well, out to zone six, six maybe. Oh, wait, so it's like oh, area. no, no, no. It's smaller. Yeah. So it's what? like area. Talking. I thought you were talking oh. population size. No, you're just like the right size for a city. I don't even think it's a I, mil. Oh, yeah. You don't think it's a million? No. I don't think so. What? We should Google this. It's just like well, we'll put it. I'll put it on in the little post credits. Yeah, but also like when you ask that question, it's like oh, I, like I love Berlin as well. Berlin is incredible. Yeah. Berlin is very cool. There's so many. Yeah, well, that's, oh. why I, that's why I ask. I'm it's curious what people value. What about yeah. you, Dan? I mean, I'm actually a big fan of Edinburgh, apart from the climate. I yeah. Actually, I was going to maybe... I was there this uh, past weekend, and I was like, this is really nice N- when not the French. When no. not the French. Yeah. Never during the French. Yeah. I can go somewhere else for August. But yeah, it's really cool. Edinburgh is nice. Like, Australia is really nice. Like, I'm, I'm heading back to Sydney in like a month, and I'm like, that's going to be very nice. But Sydney's quite big. Sydney's like 5 million people. Yeah, mm. oh God. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, the States as well. I like Chicago is a cool town. I've never been never to Chicago. Been. Chicago, cool town. Boston, cool town. I Boston's like a good. Cool. I like a good angry town. Yeah. That's why I really like London as well. Like New York, London, Sydney's got a bit of that. We're just kind of like, fucking get out of our way, bro. Like, yeah. Come on. I like that. I like that energy. All right. Where can people yeah. find you? Panilla, Harlan. Uh, at P Dog Comedy, Twitter at and P-Dog Instagram. At P Dog Comedy? Yeah. Sick. All right. <laughs> that is so easy for them. It's very easy. Evelyn? Evelyn Mock. Uh, E V E L Y N M O K <laughs> on everything. On everything, you got it all. Yeah, you're the original, the OG. The OG Evelyn Mock. And you have a podcast. I do. You plug. Oh shit, I should plug. It's yeah. uh, I have a podcast. It's called Rice to Meet You, all about Asian culture, and it's me and the very funny Mr. Nigel Ong. Guest on uh, episode four. I oh, think was he? Was. he? He's one of the original guests. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> Oh yeah. I know. Just want. I want to get like an Asian on early. You know, because like Malaysia. <laughs> Malaysia dude. He's Malaysia. Malaysian. <laughs> Malaysia. I wanted to get right in there early on. That's so funny. Is he? Was he being really? Was he roasting you? Was he being really harsh to you? No, no. It's like oh, I fucking good. I whip him into shape. You know, he doesn't. Yeah. Come, he doesn't come at me like that. Yeah. Like, get he's the fuck out of here. He's been coming at our guests like that now for really? the few the past few episodes, well, and have, I'm like. Maybe I need to have a word. Have have me on, dude. I will colonize that podcast. Yes. <laughs> Don't think I won't. <laughs> Don't think I won't. Um, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, uh, thank you so much Jerkos, for listening to the podcast. The way we end things is you guys at the same time, you say cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Fucking look at that. They cooperate. <laughs> no timing necessary. Jerk off. So I'll be Daniel Muggles and have a good one. Thank you. Good there you go. That was great. The Union Jack Off with Daniel Muggleton. <laughs>